Hey everybody, welcome to MT Guitar. Thanks for joining us today. We're doing Scar Tissue by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Wonderful guitar part by John Frusciante here to learn. Great example of tenth intervals. Tenth intervals are basically uh, a third spread apart by an octave. And uh, they create really nice guitar voicings. Um, Dave Matthews is another fan of tenths. They show up a lot in his writing. And they're really good to know. Uh, I learned this song early on. Another famous song with tenth intervals would be, you know, Blackbird. Which actually um, was inspired by Bach. Which uh, has similar things going on. So this song is a good, a good chance to work on muting the strings that are in between. So we want to basically, you know, if you watch Frusciante play this live, he basically doesn't even mess around with one string at a time. He'll just strum everything like it's a chord. We're going to stick to the studio recording. And it's a nice chance to get our right hand going as well with some cross picking. So a uh, good song to learn. It is accessible for a beginner. Uh, that's the level that I learned it at. But it's challenging enough to push you into intermediate if you really want to master this song correctly. So. Go ahead and uh, subscribe and hit the thumbs up and the notification bell. It's been a busy summer, so I haven't posted in a week or so. So uh, thanks for uh, your patience. Check out the Patreon to follow along with the tab if you're interested. And other than that, let's jump on in and get started. All right, so as I mentioned, we're dealing with 10th intervals, but we should think of this as an F major. If you think of this F bar chord here, uh, sometimes it's tricky in guitar to take out some of the strings, right? And um, as you get more intermediate and advanced, it's actually the, the notes you take out that matter sometimes. Um, we don't always need to play a full bar chord. We can play a couple notes from the, from the chord, you know. And so you learn all these shapes of caged, but really you want to basically understand how to pick and choose the notes you want, if that makes sense. So. We're going to do 10th um, fret 5th string, sorry, 10th fret, 8th fret 5th string, and 10th fret 2nd string. And you're going to go back and forth four times. So, okay, like that. One and a two e and a three e and a four e. Good. Now we're going to go to a C, but again, a 10th interval. So, 8th fret here and 9th fret here. And you're actually going to mute the 5th and 4th string because we want to strum down on all of them. So that all we hear is these. Muting strings you don't want is a very important skill. Might as well start working on it now if it's a new thing for you. Alright, so. And then you hit it down twice. The second time you slide up to a D minor, minor 10th voicing. You know, uh, so it's... Okay. Then we go 3rd string and first back and forth three times, right? And then slide back to 10 to nine, and then hit the eighth fret. So that would be. So let's do that uh, nice and slow. Ready? Three, four. Go ahead and work on that a couple times, pause the video if you need to, or rewind it, because that's going to be the main riff of the of the verse. Okay, good. Second time we repeat, but we go to the 8th fret, 2nd string. So it's like this, 4 times, and then we just slide up right away on the 1st down. Good. And then 12, 10, pull off twice with the pinky. So that whole first line, 3, 4. That's the intro. For the verse, it's very, very similar, but we're going to throw in the uh, the really cool stuff that Frusciante is playing. So starts exactly the same as the intro. Scott Tissue and I wish you saw. All the same as the intro. Here, it's a little different. Okay, so 
Uh, you, you're welcome to just play it as we do it on the intro for the entire verse. But if you want to be exact uh, and matching what he does, it's after three times, he goes to eighth fret, first string, and then second string. Then we slide up eighth to tenth fret on the first and, sorry, the sixth and second string. And then you go back and forth on the second, sixth. Little D minor riff here. Okay, so that whole verse, that's actually the entire verse. Three, four. Scottish you and I wish you some. Sarcasm is to my way home. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you close. With the birds I share. Nice. Um, Alright, so for the for the chorus. Get the strumming pattern down first. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then C down. C5, right? So just a power chord. Then D minor. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down. Back to C power chord. And then it repeats. So that would be three, four. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, C. Uh, the first chorus is just that twice. So. With the this Again. With the this then you would go back to the second verse. There's a, just a slight variation in the second verse. You don't need to do it. Um, I always like to throw, you know, as many details out for people who are a little more intermediate or advanced if they want to be, you know, doing all the fancy riffs. So let's go into, over that real quickly. It starts exactly the same as the first verse. But the second time, a uh, second verse, I should say, we go 10th to 8, and then slide up to 10, and then he goes, so that would be... Uh, 13, 12, 10, 13, and then we're back to the to the chorus, same as the first chorus. But on the second chorus, we extend to it to a third time. And then it goes into a solo over, over D minor. So for the solo, it's just uh, D minor to C bar back to D minor and uh, the first couple solos are, are short with just that so it would be two bars of D minor C D minor bass down um, C over E so that was that's seven ten nine eight bass down and then back into the verse when the solo happens later it just extends that out so that's it's just three sections um, if you if you guys want I can do a lesson on the solo it's beautiful slide stuff going on which that's not slide that's bending but I can do a slide a slide lesson it's actually a really good lesson probably for beginner slide because uh, nothing too crazy and it's all doable so there you go. It's pretty learnable, uh, I believe, and good song to have under your belt. There you go. Enjoy, and good luck. All right, well done, everybody. A nice Chili Peppers song to have under our belt. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, looking forward to seeing you next lesson. Bye.